Hello, I am Charger Do 95 producer of the Dream Season Football League. A season that determines the greatest team of all time through a 16 week season that you will see during the NFL season. These teams face off each week to determine the greatest team of all time and the greatest the most entertaining game will be re-aired with more in-depth presentation than ever before. Our Dream Season Films crew captures all the action down caught on the field as if you were actually there. This is the Dream Season Game of the Week. In an epic week one showdown, the Dallas Cowboys travel to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. On the opening kickoff, the glass slipper hung in the air. And we're hoping for another great season of NFL football. Here's the kick. Cowboys touchdown. Yeah, the other team just scored a touchdown. They have the momentum of the game. And right now as a play caller, I think you have to be very aggressive. That aggressiveness would get Tampa Bay into field goal range on consecutive drives in the first quarter. But both first quarter drives would result in zero Buccaneers points. It's no good. Oh, no, go. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 7-0. Cowboys. With Dallas up 7-0 early in the second quarter, Michael Irvin and the Cowboys were looking to put the nail in the coffin of the Buccaneers defense. Has it for a touchdown or does it? They're saying no score on the play. After Dallas was forced to settle for a field goal, Tampa Bay was in position to pull within three points before halftime. Receivers who can make plays like that on third down tend to have nice, long careers. Gets the pass away. He makes another reception on the drive. Here they go. First and goal, down by a couple of possessions. He throws left. That play is just so hard to stop down here on the goal line. All you have to do is get a little body position. Quarterback zips it in there. These two guys are tremendous at that play. Three possessions later, Tampa Bay, down by three, had a chance to take the lead over the Dallas Cowboys thanks to running back Michael Pittman, number 32. They'll give it off here. At the 40. Down the sideline. And they finally get him to the ground at the 11. I can't say enough how important it is for this defense to keep him in check. Yeah, and if they don't start making some plays on him pretty soon, it's going to be checkmate. That's ridiculous. End zone. He came down with it. Touchdown. The third quarter touchdown brought the Buccaneers to the lead 14 to 10. And after a Dallas three and out, the Buccaneers had a chance to take the lead, but would end up sputtering on offense. Brown picks it off. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Dallas. Dallas would take the lead 19 to 14 after the Brad Johnson pick six. Down by five, Dallas elected to go for a two point conversion attempt and take the lead 21 to 14 over Tampa Bay. They won't get the two. Yeah, this offensive line is good, but when you're asking them to jam it in from a couple of yards out in this type of emotional setting, I think it's too much to ask. I like throwing the ball there. 
Tampa Bay, down by five, late third quarter. Someone would have to make a play to try to win this game. Brought down behind the line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. The Buccaneers would have to settle for a Mermatica field goal to pull within two points. And with that, the score is the Buccaneers 17, Cowboys 19. Tampa Bay would eventually take the ball into the end zone to take the lead 23 to 19, which means Dallas would have to score another field goal to pull within one point with time winding down. Dallas would face a late third down and one attempt from their own 31-yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The defense couldn't figure out a way to come up with a stop on that third down attempt. After the third down conversion, Rondé Barber and the Buccaneers defense would buckle down, holding Dallas to a field goal attempt late in the fourth quarter. Field goal attempt would be good, giving a Dallas a one-point deficit with under two minutes to play. After Dallas held the Buccaneers to a three and out, Dallas would eventually have a shot to win it. The Cowboys will be in their two-minute offense now. This is their last shot if they're going to win this one. This game would come down to one final drive by the Cowboys. He slides. Chalk up a big gain and a first down for the ball carrier on that. Big play that time by a talented player. You can tell in those tough clutch situations, he wants the ball in his hand. The big play capabilities of Hall of Famer Troy Aikman will be put on the test against the 2002 Buccaneers defense late in the fourth quarter. With under 30 seconds to go, the Dallas offense would have one final shot to win the game. He throws right. It's picked off. That should wrap things up. Usually quarterbacks like throwing the ball against a linebacker dropping back into coverage, but that time didn't work out so well. Linebacker Al Singleton of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would seal the game against the Dallas Cowboys, giving them their first defeat of the DSFL season. Troy Aikman was seemingly flawless throughout the entire contest until a late interception would seal the game for the Bucks. Tampa Bay would run out the clock and win the game to conclude the dramatic comeback. And really this defensive coordinator has no choice at this point. You have to start attacking, you have to start blitzing, whatever you have to do to take away this running game because it is eating too much of the clock. Our final in this one is the Buccaneers 23, Cowboys 22. Tampa Bay's defense struggled throughout the entire game, but made the key play against Emmett Smith and the Dallas Cowboys when it mattered most. Tampa Bay is our winner over Dallas 23 to 22 in an epic comeback victory, which will be known as the Tampa Bay Shootout 23 to 22. Thank you for tuning in.